Did you know that 80% of dancers get at least one injury per year? Today I will be discussing the pros and cons of being a competition dancer. I have first-hand experience as I have danced since I was five and I did about seven-ish years of competition dance. Competition dance provides a dancer with lifelong friends, memories, and life lessons. On the flip side, a dancer's schedule can be extremely demanding and very exhausting on the mind and body. In today's world of social media, competition dance is on the rise and is only going to grow to become more competitive. I just introduced my speech, now I will tell you about the pros of being a competition dancer. Being a competition dancer has left me with many amazing things. Growing up a dancer, it's not just about dance. You are taught discipline and how to present yourself as not just a dancer, but as a person. While your parents are the ones that raise you, it is your dance community that ultimately like shapes you to be who you are. Growing up in the competition world, you gain some great mentors. I have previous dance teachers that I still talk to to this day. They are close in age to me, so they are like big sisters. They always push me to be the best version of myself in and out of dance. I often went to my dance teachers for help, not just for dance, but outside of that too, like getting into college, help with school, and really anything that I needed in my personal life. Dance has given me lifelong friends and mem memories. My peers are the girls that I spent almost all of my time with outside of school, so it's almost impossible to not become best friends with these people. They're more than just my friends, they're like my family. I've made countless memories with these girls that I will cherish forever. And not just with these girls, but with the studio as a whole. This includes my entire team from the youngest to the oldest, including all the staff and the people that make it possible for us to have done what we did. Now that I have told you all the great things about competition dance, I will now get into the not so great things. Now I will tell you about the not so great aspects of growing up as a competition dancer. The first aspect would be the effect on your mind. When you spend 10 to 20 hours, that's what I did, but I'm there's plenty of dancers that spend way more hours in the studio a week. It can be very overwhelming. This doesn't leave much time for schoolwork or a social life. This is something a lot of dancers struggle to balance. And while I'm forever grateful for my dance teachers and mentors, they can be very tough on us. After a long day of dance and screaming and yelling and corrections, it can be very exhausting. It is especially exhausting when you have a dance teacher that is pretty mean because not all of them have the best intentions. And even though most teachers do have the best intentions, it can still be very hard to not let what they're saying to you get to you and not to be too hard on yourself. Not only does dance have an effect on the mind, but it has a huge effect on the body. As I said before, spending countless hours in the studio is tough, but it is especially tough on a dancer's body. When you're running your dances back to back for hours on end with not many breaks, your body definitely feels it. In today's world of competition dance, it is always pushing out envelope. This leads to more and more injuries as everyone wants to be the best and work harder than the girl next to them. The most common injuries in dance are ankles, like ankle sprains, stress fractures, knee, back issues, you name it. Now that I have told you about the not so great things, I will now tell you how competition dance is getting crazy competitive. In today's world of competition dance, it is more competitive than ever. Dance has evolved and will only continue to evolve with the help of social media. Social media is a great tool that helps dancers improve everywhere. This can be especially helpful for dancers that can't afford the proper training. They can look up videos and tutorials online to teach themselves. Everything is online, and the best dance competitions are also streamed. With everything being on social media, it only inspires dancers to work harder and harder every day. This is why I think being a dancer today is much harder than it was 30 years ago because there's so much inspiration out there to just keep pushing and pushing the envelope and more ideas. Dance is extremely athletic today, as there is less dance and more gymnastics, if anything. Many parents are homeschooling their kids that want to pursue dance as a career. With many children being homeschooled at such a young age, they have more time to focus on dance and less on school. Because they are homeschooled, they also spend all their time auditioning and preparing and booking jobs. 
I have just told you about social media's influence on competition dance. Now I will conclude my speech. Those were some pros and cons of competition dance. This, the perspective came from me, but not just from me, from plenty of accounts of research online. While competition dance may be tough it and it takes a lot of hard work, it is very rewarding with the people you meet along the way and the lifelong friends that you make. I hope you enjoyed my speech and I hope you can use this information to decide if you would like to be a competition dancer or one day if you're older, put your kids in competition dance.